yeah look that's test cricket right you're never going to get um in never going to get a victory that's going to be easy um we knew that and we played enough test cricket to understand that there will be phases where the opposition also plays well and we need to respect that and uh, um keep doing keep doing our job and uh, yeah that i'm very proud of that you know we throughout the test match i think our energy and intensity has been really high and we've maintained that throughout the day and uh, uh throughout the last 5 days i think we've really um shown great commitment towards the team and we we haven't played test cricket in some time so there was a bit of a worry coming into the test match um uh about how the bodies would react and how we would be able to manage to be on the park for so long and and still maintain our focus and and uh, intensity but i think um we did that really well and that's something that's very pleasing okay so that's it yeah uh, first we played this game uh then we have Yeah I think um you know ODI series was a bit disappointing but uh, um I think I said this before as well um we played some good cricket we couldn't really um uh, capitalize on the on the big moments and um yeah that was a bit disappointing but yeah I mean it's a it's a completely different format completely different team and a uh, few individuals the fresh energies that come in and you you tend to forget about what what's happened in the past and you try and focus on what we have to do and um i said this before the test match as well we all everyone of us in the dressing room really get excited about playing test cricket and um, um you know that we there's a there's a there's a good positive energy about uh, how we look at test cricket and we want to win win games of cricket and we know that it's always challenging and that's the fun of test cricket so um yeah it was um it's really pleasing that you know we we um turned up in this test series and we could get manage to get the victory in the first game uh, we'll enjoy this for for the next day or two and and then uh, focus on the next game yeah uh entering the performance in this match uh, give a lot of positive Yeah I think so I mean um yes there are areas that we can improve but uh, um I'll take the win I mean everyone performed like you said everyone's done their job um yes the guys who um really did well uh, was was good that you know people have put their hands up and um uh, taken those good days and made it really uh, valuable for the team um Kuldeep with the ball in the first innings Siraj I think bowled really well in the first innings as well um but again the guys who didn't pick wickets they also did a good job they supported the bowlers really well um same way in the second innings i think akshar bowled really well but ash and kuldeep really kept the pressure on umesh and siraj really bowled um, um some really really good spells kept it really tight and uh, you know beat the bat a couple of times we were unfortunate but uh, yeah it's i think overall um, really good performance this is what we want to do as a team and um, the other guys who um, as batters got starts or bowlers got a couple of wickets but bowled well will be looking forward to the next test match and um, you know hopefully um, you know we can as a team do our job and and what's important is to win test matches who performs is not not very important and you know we ideally want all of us to perform but uh, whoever has good days if they can turn those performances into match winning performances that's what really matters how good is your sport sadly फर्स्टली um completely different things about me so it's just a it's just a gut feel that you know um i i try and go with as a captain um try and read the situation and um i felt there was in much in it for for finger spinners if, you know i we did bowl ash first and even ash felt like there's not much help from the wicket so um i thought kuldeep would you know really um at least bring in a different uh, different variety and that's why we played kuldeep you know on, on a pitch like this you know he brings in variety he brings in something different so um yeah that paid off so i'm happy thank you yes how 
to motivate their side to live and heal because they don't they're able to live. That's why whenever they come and they play, they go away. So when their side such player comes to the show, how do you motivate? Sir, I think at this level, um, uh, players are naturally very motivated. Uh, you're playing for your country. We've all worked really hard since we were kids to um, get to this place. And yes, sometimes when you when you're in and out of the team and you don't get too many opportunities, it's very natural to um, you know feel down or feel um, um, not confident enough. But yeah, as a as as a group, as a team, we always try to make everyone feel comfortable in the group and um, the talk is always about what the team needs and you know it's not about individuals and whether you're played uh, 50 test matches or whether you're playing your first or second, it doesn't really matter. We always try to see what the team needs and what we need to do to win a game of cricket and um, yeah, like I said, and the guys are already motivated. They play enough cricket and I know that they may not have played enough uh, international cricket, but back home, first class cricket, IPL, India A's, there's, there's a lot of cricket happening. So everybody is in, everybody is playing enough cricket. So when they come in, uh, in come into the Indian team, they, they come in with uh, enough games behind them and uh, that helps them perform really well and you give them a, give them the platform, give them a bit of confidence and uh, yeah, they have quality, that's why they're here and they, they perform well. Yeah, Kale, there has been a lot of positives as far as this test match is concerned, obviously. Kale getting on to his first 100, Pujara with those two knocks, 90 odd and down break. Uh, uh, quitting those exercises. What according to you as a captain stands out for India in this test match? Um, I think everything. I mean, we batted really well, we bowled really well, and um, yeah, in the fielding as well, we had you know we took most of the catches that came our way, and that's how you win Test matches. We, we that's how you win matches um, in any format. It can't be one or two people who win you win you the game. So um, yeah, um, all these guys you mentioned had uh, had a brilliant Test match, and uh, they made it count for the team. And um, yeah, that's all I can say. I think. Every performance is important, um, not just the guys who performed well, but there are other guys as well who support um, uh, support the guys who have done well. So um, those performances are important as well for us and um, as a team we win. Okay. How crucial was the first do you feel that that bowling problem actually made a difference in the matches? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it gave us a lot of time in the test match. You know, if if, uh, if in the second innings Bangladesh went on to get 300, 350, I think, you know, we, we, if this game was headed towards a draw. We would have tried to make a game out of it and, and try and give ourselves a chance to win this test match, but that would have become really hard. But um, once you bundle team out for 100, 150, it gives you a lot of time. We could bat another 50, 60 overs, could score some quick runs and put them into bat again for um, two days or something that um, that I think um, gave our bowlers the time to get them out and uh, the wicket again you know um, we know in any test match once you go into day four day five the wicket generally tends to uh, break a little bit more so uh, I think that was uh, that was the plan and getting them out so early in the second in I mean the first innings was really set us up. Uh, about Eton, he was involved in a banter with Shiraz and was both the next ball. On the second innings, uh, it looked like you uh, set a trap for him and he fell for that. So, do you think he lost the mental battle in both uh, occasions? I don't know. There was not much time for banter. You know, it was one ball and he got out the next ball. If it was a, if it was a period of four, five overs, then you can call it banter. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it worked for us, so uh, you know we're not. Uh, we'll take it, whatever it takes to uh, get the batter out. Um, and second innings, I don't think I really set up any trap for him. I mean, he was uncomfortable against uh, Kuldeep, and uh, you know he Kuldeep bowled bowled really well in that spell and got him out. He deserved that wicket. Captain, uh, now that the test match is done, obviously everyone will be glued to the TV sets. Yes. Down tonight, uh, Argentina versus. Uh, I don't know, I think most of the, most of the um, guys on the team, whichever team we were supporting are all out already, so um, um, there were a few Brazil fans, there were a few England fans, so um, you know, 
since I don't know who's who's really in Argentina or a France supporter. So we'll just enjoy the game today. We're all watching the game together, and uh, we'll have a good meal, uh, watch the game. Um, like I said, five days after a long time is is really really tiring. So um, just enjoy the next, enjoy tonight, watch the game. It's a um, you know final of a World Cup. We all love football. I mean, most of you have seen. We were always playing football for warm ups and. Um, even back back in the rooms, FIFA was big early on. Now I think boys have relaxed a little bit. Uh, there are other priorities. Uh, so yeah, um, it'll be interesting um, to watch watch the game today. There will be. I think we will be divided a little bit. And that that's what makes watching sport fun, right? So uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Thank you. Thank you.